Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. This video I'll be teaching you how to do a DynamoDB data modeling exercise. So essentially we're gonna um, uh, uh, do a modeling for an uh, organization has many user. Each user can have several tickets and in one ticket can be assigned to several user. How do we model this? Here we have one too many, many too many and we wanna model this in DynamoDB. So I'll be showing you the exercise that or the steps that you need to follow to do a data modeling. According to DynamoDB or according to essentially a lot of videos on reInvent, you want to create CSV file and you want to write down your entity and access pattern. We are going to do this exercise and then we're going to model this essentially. Okay. So let me share my screen. So DynamoDB and, and Alex Tebri as well says that first of all, identify your entities. So I have three entities, org, user, and uh, tickets, right? Three ent entities are there, right? Now, an organization has several user, right? One to many, right? One org has several user. Each user can have many tickets, right? Right? Particular user can have many tickets, right? And essentially, each ticket can be assigned to multiple people because there can be multiple people working on the same ticket, right? So that's the relation we want to model here, okay? So we understand that. Now what Dynamo says, you know guys, he says that uh, first of all, like put, uh, according to the reInvent videos, they say that like put everything in your uh, CSV file, all your entities. So I'm identifying my entities, orgs, user, tickets. Then create a tab called access pattern. Write down all the possible access pattern you can think of. So here I can say, give me all the user in the organization, right? Fetch a particular organization, fetch a given user in an organization, fetch all the tickets for a user. I want to see particular, let's say uh, how many tickets Sawmill is assigned. Then I want to do the reverse, right? Uh, fetch all the user for a given ticket. So for a given ticket, who are the people working on that? I want to do all that, right? So these are the entity entity that we are trying to model, okay? So we will put this a, into blue or green and this one, no color, okay? So now we understand that, right? So now how do we start modeling, right? So uh, we have learned that in order to do one to many, right? Uh, so let, let, let's go to NoSQL Workbench and try to model this, uh, okay? So we'll come here and I'll, I'll clear everything up because I'm gonna start from scratch. Uh, let's click on data model and uh, we'll say, call this as uh, YouTube. Okay, and we have a typo there, we'll fix that. Ah, that's fine, not a problem at all. Overwrite that. All right, so here you see the screen, right? So now we need to create a table. So we'll call this users, right? Uh, or orgs user. Whatever you wanna give, right? It doesn't matter. So now we'll have a primary key, right? We'll have a secondary key. Right, we have my PK, we have my SK. Then we need a GSI and I'll cover GSI in a second what I'm trying to say there. And then whatever attributes the user has and we'll cl click on create table. Uh, so let's visualize, right? This is how my table looks like. Let's add some data. So my first data would be org Amazon, right? And this uh, has Okay, man, whatever attribute, we can leave it to you for So see how I'm, I'm trying to model it. This is very important exercise, okay? So now we'll have one more user. Okay, now we'll uh, click on add new row and we'll add, uh, we'll say, So I have all this stuff, right? So now if I click on aggregate view, so now what is the, my access pattern here? Now let me copy that and paint and explain you. So this is my uh, access pattern. So I can fetch a given organization, right? By primary key, uh, sorry, or sorry by, by, by partition key, right? Now, if I want to fetch all the user in a given organization, I can do that also, right? I have that. Now, if I want to uh, fetch specific user, right? What I can do, I can say, hey, for a given organization, uh, give me all the user that begins with the word user hash sum, right? So I can fetch that particular also. So now all my three access patterns have been defined, right? So I, I, I could take care of all, all the queries. So 
uh, going back to my uh, uh, Excel here. So this is taken care, right? So we'll make the one in yellow. Fetch an org, fetch a given user in org, right? Now we need to take care of the tickets, right? So now uh, let's let's try to do that, right? So now let's go back to the table, right? So we have this data now. Uh, we are trying to uh, do many to many, which means a user can have many tickets, tickets, and uh, a ticket can have many user, right? A single ticket can be assigned to multiple people, right? So the reason, I'm, the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna click on edit data, and I'm gonna start writing a ticket here. So say this is a Jira, blah blah blah. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Now the the, the way I'm gonna do this here, tickets three, four, five, and then I'll say user uh, we can say or we can just say we can, if you want we can just say ticket one two three four five hash we can say sawmill doesn't matter so we can do that right now yeah yeah that, that's that now this ticket is gonna be assigned to let's say I want to assign it to sawmill so because a ticket can have many a user, so I'll say I want to assign this to Saumil. Then this ticket also I want to assign to Nitin, right? So it's gonna be here. So here I I could say like uh, after this I could say hash user Nitin. Right? We could do the same thing here as well. I wanna make sure that this is positive. So let me go to the end. And don't worry, I'm going to explain you in a second what I'm trying to do. So just bear with me for two minutes. Okay. So save this aggregate view. So, so far you have done that right now. What we need to do is we need to, uh, let me just do one more thing. Then I'll explain you. Okay. Let me add one more uh, entity here. Okay. So I'll add one more ticket. So just so you guys can, you know, relate what I'm trying to do. Ah, God damn it. So this one. Okay, and uh, this will also be assigned to Nitin. Okay, that's that. Okay, so that's how my data looks like in aggregated. So now we'll click on model. We need to set up a GSI, guys. Okay, now GSI, uh, if I can explain you again the concept, I have a tutorial especially on GSI. But GSI means, remember, so let's say you have your name, you have your age, you have your language, uh, whatever country, whatever. So this is your primary key, this is your secondary key, right? So you can say, hey, uh, give me a give me a user with the name Saumil, right? Now, but if you wanna fetch an item by a country, you can set up this as a partition key and a different sort key. So GSI allows you to set up a different partition key and a sort key. So uh, back to my table now. I need to set up GSI to to do my uh, many to many. So I'll click on add GSI. Now here, what I'm gonna call the the way I'm gonna call this is I'm gonna call. views okay I'm gonna call it views now uh, remember my GSI right that's gonna be my partition key here and um, I want to add a sort key which is gonna be my PK or we can do uh, uh, SK as well uh, depending on what you want to do uh, so but let's l l let's do PK for now okay but and then let's click on save so if I now go to the table and I just want to show you and then we can keep talking right uh, we'll click on aggregate view so what we have essentially made here is now I have an org In org I have many user I can fetch that I can fetch a particular org I can also fetch a particular user now let's see the ticket relationship so now I can say uh, for a given user fetch all the tickets so for a user Nathan fetch all the tickets that I have amazing that took care of that right now I want to do the reverse I want to say for a given ticket give me all the uh, so for a given ticket I want to see who who are the user assigned, right? So now I can come here, I can say for a given ticket, right? For a given ticket, I can say fetch all the user because I'll have this one, so I'll get user Nitin, user Saumil, I can fetch also that that as well, right? So what you have observed is uh, how, how, how to set up uh, a many-to-many, -many, right? In order to set up a many-to-many, -many, we need to set up a GSI, that is nothing but global secondary index. So coming back to the diagram, one to many we essentially did in dynamo by this way so essentially we set up a partition key 
and the sort key we had many items for that partition so an or can have many user now a user can have many tickets right so the way we did that is we created a ticket in the partition key right and then essentially we, we in a new column we set up a gsi for that particular user and then we essentially created our views so now i can come here and say hey for this user give me also for this user fetch all the tickets so now it is super super fast right and i can do the reverse as well i can say for a given ticket fetch all the users blah 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 right so what you really see is the power of dynamo db right uh, when we come from a SQL background, uh, it's really hard to have all these concepts, which is why you want to learn, you want to watch videos, you want to educate yourself, uh, rather than saying that, you know what, hey, I can't do like DynamoDB can't do join. Who said it cannot do join? Well, did you read about it? Did you try to learn? Did you try to experiment? So this is our scenario, one example. I'll try to do more and more exercise so you get guys get an idea. So remember, the couple of steps are first create an entity, right? Then essentially write down your access pattern in a CSV file, then download a NoSQL workbench and then start creating your stuff here. And then once you do that, then, then have discussion with your coworkers and colleagues. Hey, what about this pattern? Oh, you missed this pattern. We had to query this data this way. Start talking and this will essentially help you to essentially have complex um, uh, entities in Dynamo and at a, at a whopping fast speed, right? Dynamo is super, super fast. If you design it right, correctly, perfectly, it's gonna be flawless. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video. With that being said, uh, keep smiling, keep programming, and we'll see you guys in the upcoming next video.